This is a sagittal slice of a human brain through the column of the fornix as it enters into the mammillary bodies. And I'm going to point out various structures starting at the base of the brain stem. This area right here contains uh, nuclei for the uh, medial luminiscal pathway. And the medial luminiscal pathway is carrying information for touch, sensation, vibration, um, and conscious proprioception. And the lower part of the body, those fibers are going to synapse at the nucleus gracialis. And the upper body information from the spinal cord, they, they're going to synapse at the nucleus cuneatus. And then after they synapse, they're going to cross via the internal arcuate fibers and ascend up the medial luminiscal pathway in which they'll ultimately synapse at the VPL of the thalamus and then terminate in primary visual cortex. And this structure right here is the pyramids. And the pyramids contain, um, for our concern, it contains direct motor fibers, including the cortical spinal tract. And then just above it is the inferior olivary nucleus comp complex. And the inferior olives play a role in associative learning and also in the generation of oscillary activity. But most importantly, it provides inputs to the cerebellum through climbing fibers in which they terminate in the cerebellum in Purkinje cells. Okay, and we can see the pons right here, this big structure right here, and back here we have various fibers ascending and descending medial lemoniscus. Trapezoid body is located in there, various nuclei, uh, abducens nuclei, vestibular nuclei, those are going to be really difficult to identify, but they're probably right around here. Um, we also have the solitary track and the solitary nucleus. Uh, that's probably going to be about like right here. And this is the fourth ventricle right here. And of course, this is the cerebellum right here. And we have, we can see a little bit of the basilar artery right here, which is a main artery um, supplying blood into the brain. Okay, moving up, uh, let's see. We can see the superior cerebellar peduncles, which the superior cerebellar peduncles are the main output route from the cerebellum. We can see the decussation of them right here. This is the decussation. And just below that, we have substantia nigra, which is where dopamine is created. Right here we have, uh, we can see a little bit of the ocular motor nerve, which the ocular motor system is involved in pupillary constriction and keeping objects cent uh, centered on the fovea. And then this big structure right here is the red nucleus. And the red nucleus, it stains pink and fresh specimens um, because of its vascular um, nature and it's involved with the rubrospinal direct motor efferents. And then right back here we have the uh, tectum and the tegmentum right here of the midbrain. And then we have the inferior uh, colliculus, which I guess is kind of right there. And the inferior colliculus is used for detecting changes in the auditory environment. And then just above that, we have the superior colliculus, which is used in visual uh, reflexes and uh, visual tracking of moving objects. And then just below that, this right here is the periaqueductal gray. This is uh, involved in uh, descending modulation of pain. Let's see, what else do we have here? We have the optic chiasm right here, which is where visual fibers are decussating. Then we have the mammillary bodies right here. This is part of the limbic system involved in um, uh, memory. Let's see, and then we have the hypothalamus. We can see some right there, and it, it's actually going to kind of extend right over there too. 
Um, okay, and then right here we have some of the Fornix coming down. And let's see. And then just to the side of the fornix, we have the anterior commissure right here, which is a bundle of white fibers connecting both of the hemispheres. And in this particular stain, it's, it's black. And then just um, in front of the anterior commissure, we have the septal nuclei right here. And this big structure right here is the thalamus, a variety of different uh, nuclei. In there we have the anterior right here. Um, we're going to see a little bit of the pulvinar right here. Um, and then probably we're going to see the VA ventral anterior. And then this big structure right here is the dorsal medial nuclei of the thalamus. Then we can see some uh, choroid plexus right here which is responsible for creating CSF and we see fornix right here again the fornix is right there and it's connected to the mammillary bodies right here and then this is the corpus callosum right there and of course the lateral ventricles um, right there let's see we can barely make out the pineal gland. Pineal gland is going to be located right there. And that looks about it for the main structures in this tutorial.